So I get asked a lot if you can change the uh, tire size on a Jeep Wrangler using the Autel scan tool. And the answer is yes and no. Um, and we're going to go through this and I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Now this is a 2007 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, all of them should be pretty much the same. Um, this is obviously a JK series Wrangler. Uh, all the JKs should at least be the same. Even the prior years is going to be similar to this. So uh, we're just going to do an auto detect. Okay, it's got the serial number or the VIN number of the Jeep. We'll hit OK to that. This is a JK Wrangler 2007 model. And you know, Jeep is made by Chrysler now. And Chrysler's have been good about this for a long time. Uh, now we could probably go to hot function. Let's see here. Now it says tire pressure monitor. Is all the uh, is the only option we have for tire? Let's just double check. Sometimes the verbiage that they use is not correct, so let's just make sure that uh, that this doesn't take us to the tire size. A lot of times under hot function tire size, that's that's you you can find it there. Now if it's not there, as this one may not be, then we'll go uh, into the actual module itself and we'll select uh, where we need to go. Okay. So even though that said tire pressure monitor, uh, you can see where it's got uh, it's got program tire size one, program tire size two. Now Autel should be a little better about combining both them because there, there's no reason to have two on here. We're going to go through both of them. They're both they both do the same exact thing, but they're both slightly different uh, in the way they do it. So we're just going to do one first. Now, this Jeep right now, well, I'll get to that here in a minute. Okay, so let me just read this. You can use this function to program the tire size into the totally integrated power module, otherwise known as the TIPM for short. Okay, now. And this is what I was about to say. Present tire size unknown. That's because this Jeep has 33 inch tires on it. This model year never, they never had a tire that, okay, or they never had a tire size available on this Jeep that equaled 33 inches. Meaning none of the metric size tires uh, that came on this Jeep would have been 33 inches tall. I think about 31 inches roughly maybe a 32 but I'm thinking 31 was like the tallest tire you could get on this Jeep so and that's where at the beginning of this video I said yes and no because we're going to hit OK to that <clears throat> so it says choose the new tire size and press OK to modify the tire size these are all the different tire sizes that you got to choose from now these are the metric tire sizes, you know, a P225, 75, 17, 245, 245, 75, 16, well, if I'd stop hitting the screen. So these are the tire sizes you have to choose from. And what these are, are all the tire sizes that was available when the Jeep was sold, available basically from the manufacturer that you had the choice, depending on what package you got and whatnot. Uh, these were the tire sizes that you would have been able to get on the Jeep none of which equal 33 inches tall so and on the tire program size 2 that we're about to show I'm about to show I'll show you why it's a little bit different it's actually a little bit better of a process than this one and I'll show you what I mean so basically what you would do here is as long as the tires that you're putting on are these sizes right here you're good to go now even if they're not exactly this size you can actually uh, go on on the web uh, discounttire.com is one there's other sites that you can put in a tire size and it will tell you all the dimensions of that tire it tell you the height the circumference everything you want to know about the t that tire size how tall the the sidewall is everything so based on that you can compare it to these tires 
and you can see what these tire sizes are. So just because uh, you're not putting a Bridgestone Dooler on, if you're putting some another brand on, it, uh, put this 245-75-16 in one of those calculators, see what the height is, and then put the tire that you're looking at in there to see how, how far off it is. If it's, if it's virtually the same size, you'll be good to go by picking the, the Bridgestone Dooler. Now the problem is most people want to put at least 33 inch tires on their Jeep, especially if you're going to lift them. Uh, and if, 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 even if, if most people, even that don't off-road, want taller tires on. To me, a Jeep needs at least a 33 inch tire to make it look like a Jeep, to make it look like what it should look like when it comes right off the uh, showroom. So that's basically what you got here. You pick one of these tires. Uh, we'll pick that one then you hit OK and bam it updates the tip them with th this size tire now your speed speedometer is going to be correct and your shift points are going to be correct and a lot of people forget about the shift points shift points are really more important than your speedometer being correct shift points and what I mean by that is if you've got different size tires on the vehicle than what it's programmed in the computer not only is your speedometer going to be wrong but the transmission is not going to know the optimum time to shift so keep that in mind okay let's go ahead and back out of this and we're going to go to pro, uh, program tire size 2 Okay, now this says this function is used to update the tire circumference value stored in the tip -um after changing the size of the tire on the vehicle. To restore the tire circumference to its original factory program value based on the sales code, please run restore vehicle configuration function. So, after hitting OK to this, I'll kind of show you how this is. Now, what's nice about this program tire size 2 is it actually tells you what the circumference is in millimeters of the currently programmed uh, tire that's on that well not necessarily that's on the vehicle that but that's programmed in the tip -um. so it says the currently programmed circumference value is 2560 millimeters which does not correspond to a tire size to a known tire size to change it please choose from the list here and and the reason that is is this vehicle has had a third-party programmer program the tip -um with a 33 inch size tire um, so these are the same tire sizes that should have been on the last screen and actually it doesn't even look like there's as many but these should have been in that last list there's not any of these that equal 2560 millimeters in circumference so and that's kind of what this is saying so whenever at the beginning of the video whenever I said yes and no it will program tire sizes but only factory factory sizes it won't if you're putting 33s or 34s or 35s uh, on, on, on a Jeep the Alltail is not going to program an out of spec tire on the vehicle so you know keep that in mind if you're looking at one of these so you can program tire sizes on uh, you know Jeeps and trucks and stuff it's not gonna it's probably not gonna program as tall of a tire as what you're wanting to be able to program into the vehicle you're still gonna have to use a third-party programmer but this is just like the the other screen you'd pick out of the list here and then hit OK and then wham bam the tip -um is now programmed to that tire size so again your speedo and your uh, shift points would be correct for that tire size so yeah this will program tire sizes but not not tire sizes that's over or under what the factory offers on the vehicle anyway uh, just kind of wanted to show you that and uh, you guys take care Surfshark is an easy to use security tool for you and your whole family want to know how Peter can unblock all of the sports events anytime Olivia can enjoy unrestricted entertainment on the go. Jimmy can surf the web safely while on public Wi-Fi. 
Amanda can share her moments on any social media from anywhere in the world. Surfshark is here for all of you.